Hi friends, in the previous session we discussed how to do filters by using labels, filters and value filters. That is text filters and value filters. Now in this video session we will discuss pivot table label filters with wildcards. See normally we will do the filter by using labels. So here also we will do same thing. Go to there and label filters you can select any option for example here i am selecting begins with in the bottom of the drop down you can see two options two lines of text use question mark to represent any single character use asterisk to represent any series of characters so there are two wild cards one is question mark and the second one is asterisk so first one the question mark is for single character and that asterisk is for number of characters so we'll go for number of characters by using asterisk now we'll see with the examples first for example if i'm giving a so begins with a in the cells the cells are having a letter in the starting we'll get that data only so here now we'll see we'll use wild cards go to label filters begins with in the starting in the starting i am giving question mark we'll see what happened if i am giving question mark so that means in the cells in the data if there is a second letter is a you will get that data only so indirectly just we are skipping the first letter if i am using question mark means it won't calculate it won't take first letter the first letter should be anything but the second letter should be capital A or small a it's not a case sensitive okay see first letters are different and the second letter is a and uh, we'll see another one go to label filters next uh, go to begins with now I am taking uh, s question mark then n it means first letter is s and the second letter is anything and the third letter should be n then okay see san so first letter is s second letter is anything a e i but the third letter is n only and uh, we'll go for another example in the value filters uh, begins with uh, this time i'm giving two question marks so the two question marks that means uh, first letter should be s and the fourth letter should be n in between two letters should be anything then okay see s and uh, two letters are different letters and a uh, fourth letter will be n so like this and if you want multiple characters uh, then uh, we'll go for asterisk go to label filters go to begins with then instead of this question marks we'll give star asterisk that means first should be capital s or smallest and uh, a number of characters then n it may be anywhere anywhere that n should be so it should be like third letter it may be third or fourth or fifth anywhere in the cell but uh, first letter should be s and then n it will be there in the cell then okay see s okay here n will be in the last letter here also n or here also n is the second word first character like uh, i am going there and uh, we'll go for same another example label filters begins with here i am giving a then asterisk i am giving like night okay that means first letter should be a and in the cell are having night the word night then we'll get the data see the first letter should be a see here night 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 you will get that data only so like this by using wild cards question mark and asterisk we'll extract data exactly what we required based on the different conditions